we are going to look at particular tasks you need to focus on in order to secure 58 or 7 band which is equivalent to 65 a lot of students need 7 each for the nursing registration for the nursing studies for the admission or for their 491 visa as well so in this video what i'm going to focus at i'm going to focus at a plan a structured plan of what you need to follow on daily basis in order to get your desired score because i've seen a lot of students who keep on practicing day and night but they don't get the score because they are focusing on something which will not give them the right return you need to focus on things and tasks which are going to give you easy and quick return and help you get your desired score now i'll go task by task and i'll tell you how many tasks per day you need to practice and how you need to evaluate yourself so very first thing if you're aiming for 58 or you're aiming for 65 your primary focus should be speaking and listening if you do well in your speaking and in your listening 100 percent you're going to get your score you need to focus on read aloud you need to practice 20 to 25 read aloud every day and when you practice on a website you should at least get 12 on 15. 12 on 15 is a fine score your focus shouldn't be on going too fast. You need to speak at a moderate pace and you need to speak as clearly as possible. Content is very important. Read aloud. You need to practice 25 every day. Repeat sentence. You need to practice 35 every day because repeat sentences are going to boost your listening score and your speaking score. In your repeat sentence, again, you don't need to go too fast. You need to speak at a moderate pace, but you need to maximize the content. You need to repeat as much content as possible, but keep this thing in mind. You are not expected to repeat 100% of the content. It's not practically possible to repeat 100% of the content many a times, especially when the sentences are long. In that case, repeat as much as possible, but speak clearly and confidently. Even if you repeat 80% of the content, you will be doing your job, but you need to speak it clearly and confidently. So 35 repeat sentences. Then describe image and retail lecture, not very important, but somewhat important. You need to practice three each every day. In describe image, only speak easy words and follow the template. Read a lecture, speak around 30 seconds, speak clearly, make sure you have keywords because keywords in read a lecture will boost your listening score and speak around 30 seconds. Describe image, you can speak 20, 25 seconds, more than enough. Never ever, describe image and read a lecture, never ever speak any word you find difficult to pronounce. If there's any long word, difficult or complex phrase, or any word you find uncomfortable speaking, skip it. Please do not speak any word you're not sure about in describe image and retail lecture. If you have less keywords, you can repeat the same, but don't speak the wrong word. Answer short questions, just cover the predictions a week before your test. On daily basis, you don't need to practice. Now you have got your writing. Writing is not very important. Majority of your writing scores will be from your reading and your listening module. So you need to focus on this thing and summarize written text. You follow the trick I've shared in the full course video. I'll attach a link to that video in the description box. You can watch what templates and what tricks you need to use. Summarize written text, you can practice one alternate day and essay as well, you can practice alternate day. So one day you can practice summarize written text, next day you can practice your essay. So that's what you need to do. After that, your reading. Reading is important, but your primary focus shouldn't be on reading. First of all, there are five tasks in reading. You've got your MCQ single, multiple reorders, and reading blanks, reading writing blanks. You need to focus on reading blanks and reading writing blanks. You do not need to focus at all on your MCQ single and MCQ multiple. You can focus a bit on your reorders. When I say a bit, you just need to practice five to seven. These are not important, but obviously if you do good, um, the chances of you getting a higher score will go up. Reading blanks, reading, writing blanks, you need to practice at least 15 every day. If you can practice 20 to 25, that will be better. Reorders 5 to 10 every day, not more than that. Now, whenever you practice reading, you don't need to cram anything. You need to understand. You practice 10 instead of 15, that's fine. But if you understand it, that will be worth it. Understanding is the key. In speaking, in writing, in listening, you have the shortcuts. Reading, you need to understand. So whenever you practice reading blanks and reorders, try to understand. If you don't understand, on our portal for each and every blank, we have given the explanation video with all the rules, all the logic, and that is 100% free. You need to watch those videos in order to boost your understanding. Then we move on to the listening module. Listening is the key, but you need to be very smart in listening. Two things you need to be very careful about. 
first thing there are eight tasks four are important four are not you don't really need to focus on things which are not very important second time management you need to focus on summarize spoken text listening blanks write from dictation highlight incorrect words you don't really need to focus on highlight correct summary select missing word mcq single and mcq multiple answer you need to practice to summarize spoken text every day write around 65 words and please make sure to get maximum scores out of the listening module there shouldn't be a single spelling error i do not want a single spelling mistake in listening so practice to summarize spoken text write it on 65 words and make sure there are no spelling errors add proper keywords as well now your listening blanks you need to practice 10 listening blanks every day and maintain a spelling list any spelling mistake you make you need to make sure you note it down as well because the main reason why students don't get their scores in listening and writing are the spelling errors in listening module you might be thinking now nah, i'm fine with spellings but i can write it down when you practice listening blanks when you write um you write from dictations when you practice summarize spoken text you will even have spelling errors with your easy words or words which you are confident with so it's very important you maintain a spelling list you need to practice five highlight incorrect words every day this negative marking make sure you do not select any word you're not sure about please this task is very easy and we often take it for granted but a lot of students do have a lot of mistakes in this so make sure you practice five highlight incorrect words every day next your write from dictation if you do well in your write from dictation 100% you will get your score you'll get 3 to 4 write from dictations the king i say is the most important task you need to make sure there no spelling errors you start with a capital the first word should be capitalized means the first alphabet should be capital and then there should be a full stop as well you need to make sure all spellings are perfect over here you need to practice 35 write from dictations every day any sentence you find difficult note it down any spelling you find difficult note it down write from dictation if you do good in this you will have a better future you will get your score and 100% your listening and your writing scores will go up so let's have a look again you need to focus on summarize spoken text listening blanks write from dictation and highlight incorrect words mcq single mcq multiple select missing word and your highlight correct summary as i've told you you don't need to waste time you have limited time and if you waste time on these tasks you'll miss out the important task so in these four tasks once the audio stops you do not need to spend more than 10 seconds once the audio stops within 10 seconds move on to the next question now let's have a look at our plan every day what you need to practice every day so 20 read alouds 35 repeat sentences 3 describe image 3 read a lecture alternate day one summarize written text one essay 15 to 20 reading blanks 15 to 20 reading writing blanks and 5 to 10 reorders two summarize spoken text 10 listening blanks 35 dictations five highlight incorrect words you need to follow this plan for 7 days please note it down for 7 days after 7 days you need to make sure you take a full a one free scored mock test on languageacademy.com.au if you are aiming for 58 make sure you get 58 each in full scored mock test i'm not talking about individual mock test sectional mock test i'm talking about full scored mock test you need to get at least 58 if you are aiming for 7 you need to at least get 65 65 in all the modules in the full scored mock test on languageacademy.com.au once you do that you need to go for the exam after a week or so in that week i'll tell you what you need to work on but in case you don't get your desired score in the mock test you need to look at the analysis and the tutor feedback after that the task which you have a low percentage in you need to focus more on those tasks for a week and after a week you need to take a mock test again once you get your desired score in the mock test you have to book or schedule your exam after around 2 weeks in those two weeks you need to cover certain things from the portal i'll share my screen and tell you what you need to focus on in the week prior to your test let me share my screen with you guys um all right let's say you have booked your exam for 10 days from now you need to make sure you go to weekly prediction you cover all the read alouds from there all the repeat sentences from there cover all the reading blanks cover all the reading writing blanks cover all the reorders cover all the summarize spoken text and write from dictation plus cover all the listening blanks exam questions i'm not talking about weekly prediction cover all the exam questions there are around 110 here 
make sure you note down all the spelling mistakes you have caught plus if you can if you are done with weekly prediction of read aloud repeat sentence your reading blanks reorders write from dictation and summarize spoken text try to cover as many reading blanks from exam questions and same thing try to cover as many reading writing from exam questions also if you are done with weekly predictions of write from dictation try to cover as many exam questions of write from dictation once you do this you need to make sure you take this full mock test one full mock test is obviously free you can take that mock test you need to make sure you at least get 65 in the full mock test and then only you go for your test that is what you need to do whenever you practice at the end of the day look at your daily feedback see how much you have scored what you need to work on what not you'll get the accuracy you'll get to know what mistakes you're making and how you have to improve the same so this is what i need you to focus on the website is um, completely free for you to practice obviously mock test you'll only get one free but yes even if you do not pay anything this website is good enough to help you get your score you can even have a look here how are you doing in your listening module and other modules as well so this is what you need to do you need to focus primarily on your speaking and listening make sure speaking you focus on content clarity listening you focus on your spellings reading you focus on your blanks and go with the template of essay understand the trick and summarize written text focus on the task i have told you and 100 percent you'll get your score that's it from this video if you think the video was helpful do like share and subscribe and share it with your friends as well and if you ever get your scores watching my videos do let me know that is my aim that is something i work for and if i help you get your score in the PT test, I'll be very happy and that is something which will keep me going on. That's it from this video. If you need any help, if you need any uh, guidance on any task, you can contact us on the numbers given on your screen. If you're in India, you can contact us on this number. If you're in Australia or any other country, you can contact us on this number and you can register on languageacademy.com.au, use your computer and start practicing for free. That's it from this video, guys. I hope I'll help as many as of you I can um, to get your desired score for your nursing or for your student visa or for your 491 visa as well. And you all have a bright future. That's it from this video. I'll see you very soon. Till then, take care and stay safe. Varun from Language Academy. Thank you for joining us.